loved to get the ball to number 36. Owens couldn't run a 4-5-40, and he didn't weigh 220. But this hard-working blue-collar back led the nation in rushing and touchdowns in his senior year. Steve Owens made magic his way and took the Heisman Trophy in 1969. Super Bowl III. Joe Namath's right arm supported the AFL's hopes for respectability after two straight Super Bowl losses. But Joe and the Jets were 17-point underdogs in spite of his guarantee of victory and his cool. The NFL champion Baltimore Colts age up quarterbacks. The experts look for a round. Baltimore had an all-pro quarterback, too, Earl Morris. But this would not be Earl's day. Randy Beverly's first quarter interception robbed the Colts of a sure scoring opportunity and gave the Jets hope. Baltimore's Don Shula watched as Namath hit George Sauer for 11 inside Baltimore territory. Snell snares one in the flat to get New York in scoring position. Where Baltimore failed, the Jets succeed. Snell gets the touchdown, and New York leads seven to nothing. Namath is making them all believe. Morrow marches Baltimore to the New York 16, but Johnny Sample's interception halts another cold drive. Namath to Sauer. The Jets are moving again. Jim Turner's field goal opens up a 16-0 lead in the fourth quarter. But Shula still had one ace left to play. Sore arm Johnny Unitas came on and took charge, guiding the Colts to their first score. But that was all there was for Baltimore. Joe Namath and the Jets made football history with a 16-7 win. They were champions of the world. Namath was the hero, but he shared the triumph. Our defense, what can I say? They played that way all year long. Nobody believed what our defense could do. Nobody believed what our offense could do. Ordinarily, 16 points is a, not enough to win. But our defense, they played a great game. Baltimore only given up 16 points. I know as a defensive unit feels they should win because their offense is supposed to get more than that. Not against our defense. Not today, anyway. <laughs>